In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add subtitles to Canva. Now this can be done very easily, and I'm going to show you how you can do it in the quickest and easiest way possible. So what you first need to do is upload your video to Canva. Maybe you've already got your video in a design, or you can just go to create a design and then import your file. I'm just going to go ahead and go to video, and I'll drag a video on the timeline. So here I am in Canva video, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag in just a video here and upload this to Canva. So once I've got this video uploaded, I can then drag it onto the timeline. So here is my video. It's just a YouTube video and I'm going to subtitle a part of the intro. So first what you need to do is just play the video. Make sure you've got all the audio in Canva. So let's just play it together and listen to it. So how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? So you can see here we've got some crisp audio which we can add subtitles to. Now the best way that you can do this is you want to go ahead and go to the text tool, click on that, and then go add a heading. Now, this is going to be your subtitle, and you want to customize the style to the final product, right? So make sure that you're taking time with the style of your subtitles, because this is going to be essentially the final product. So now you want to type out the subtitles for your first sentence. So let's just play it again. So how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? So my first sentence is, so how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? So I'm going to type out that subtitle here. So how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this text by clicking on it and then clicking Control A and that will highlight all of it. And we can then make that bigger. And I'm also going to go ahead and change the font to a more clearer to read font. Okay, so we're going to go with this font. Now, what I recommend you do if you've got like a white background or if you've got multiple colored backgrounds and you want your subtitle to stand out, if you highlight it and then go ahead and go into the font section, you can then go to text styles and just make sure it's bold. So in the fonts, you probably have like a bold font and a normal font and then like a body font. You want to make sure it's on heading and bold. You can also just bold it here. Now, what you can also do, if you go to effects, you can scroll down and there's many effects that you can use to make your fonts more clear. But if you go to background, you can add a background to your subtitles. So whatever color you use here, obviously you want to change it accordingly. I'm going to put a black background and I'm going to change the color of the font to white. So now we've got kind of like this subtitle effect. Now going back to effects, you can change the roundness of background rather and increase or decrease the spread. So after that, you should have like a decent looking subtitle, right? So now what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and play your video to the end of the first sentence. So you can see we've got here subtitles for the first sentence, so let's play it together. So how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? Okay, so how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? I've then paused it at the end of the first sentence, and now what we need to do is right click, and we need to split the page. So now we've done that, we can now click on the split section. And now we can go to the start of this section and type out the second sentence. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my experiences. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you my experiences. So I'm going to write out the next subtitle. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you my experiences. Right, so now I've wrote the second subtitle. We can just kind of play this and see if it changes. So let's play it together. So how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my experiences. And then you would pause it again after that sentence is done. And you can see what we're doing here is we're essentially splitting the clip after each sentence and changing this text box here. So let's do it once more. Because here you can see I've got not one, not two, but three videos. And then this one, I'm going to type the text here. Okay, and then I've typed the text, and then again, we're going to split this clip. You can also click S on the keyboard once you're clicking on the actual clip, and that will split it without you having to right-click and then go ahead and click split manually. So now we've got our subtitles. You can do this for as many as you want for as long as the video is. You are going to have to do this manually, though. There is no auto subtitle feature on Canva, but this is the final result. So how long does it take to rank a video on YouTube? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my experiences because here you can see I've got not one, not two, but three videos. 
So yeah, that's how you would subtitle it. Obviously, you can see how easy it is. It just is time consuming and you have to subtitle every sentence manually. But it works for short form videos. It's a great workaround because Canva doesn't have any auto subtitle feature. Then you can go ahead and export your video and download it. So that's how you can subtitle on Canva. I hope that video did help you out.